activated carbon. Norit activated carbon. About five euros. Fish cleaning, yeah. filter stuff. All right. There we go. Yep. Oh, dusty. <laughs> okay. We'll mix this with acetone in a 10% by weight, 10% ratio of binder, which is acetone in this particular instance, and 90% of active material. All right. Okay, okay. so for the viewers at home, this is the end result of uh, well, basically wood five grams of uh, wood glue. glue with some acetone, and it um, it actually feels like your classical glue that you had at kindergarten stuff. You can make little boogers out of it. Yeah. So, but... No. So we're we're, uh, we're in. We're not really convinced. This is this is, this is the way to go. <laughs> Well, our first experiment down the drain. Well, <laughs> this is our second experiment with uh, wood glue, which is mainly PVA and acetone. We added some water, which made it soluble again, but now it's not sticking anymore. So, whatever it was, it's not a binder anymore. And then we tried wood glue with water, which. Well, isn't really sticking as well but it's supposed to dry after it dries but, out it's supposed to. yeah exactly when this dries out it's the wood glue that you would expect again and it's enough to hold onto a piece of aluminium so this is the way forward for now <laughs> this was supposed to be the easy part. Yeah. <laughs> Cutting strips. Alright, so oh wait. First off, we got uh we got a net uh, natrium sulfate which translates to sodium sulfate. Five point oh four grams. Yep. The sodium sulfate's gonna be the the ion transporting stuff. So the more concentrated the solution is going to be, the better the supercapacitor is going to, going to work. Which is, uh, well... The theory. The theory, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shall we uh I'm gonna chuck this in the oven. Yeah. Uh, you do that? What we've got here is a crappy capacitor. But it's holding 0.8 of a volt. <clears throat> so this is basically some PVA wood glue. Some chunks of carbon actually, because it was uh, the bottom of our batch. And uh, the aluminium has not been etched in any way. We put some uh, electrolyte in it, a lot, as you can see, together with toilet paper. But uh, if we charge it with, well, <laughs> I actually charged it with three volts, which uh, made it uh, go make noise. <laughs> but still, it's it's working. Nice. That's a real result. That's yeah. The best result I ever had. <laughs> uh, the only result you ever might had. might be good to add. This is the first time I tried it. 